everybody. Now today we are going to do a piece of art that links with our topic of the Great Fire in London and we are going to be creating a silhouette scene of the Great Fire of London. So to start with you will need a piece of white paper. Now I'm doing it small A5 but if you want to make it A4 that is absolutely up to you. I've got some black paper. If you don't have black paper you can always um, colour some white paper in black if you've got a black pencil. I've got some paint, watercolour paints, if you have them. If not, again, don't worry, you can always use um, colouring pencils. So I've got some here as well, so I'm going to be using both today. I've also got a normal pencil, I've got some scissors, and I've got a glue stick and a paintbrush. Okay. Now to start off with, we are going to create a wash on our white paper background. Okay, and this is going to be our background. And I'm going to this choose some fire colours. So I'm going to do some yellows, some oranges and some reds. Now to start with I'm going to start with yellow. Okay, because I always like to start with the lightest colour and then it's easier to blend. So I'm just going to turn it that way and then I'm just going to really big strokes, lots of water, lots of paint, really big strokes and then I'm going to get some orange and put the paint all across the length of the paper. Really important if you do use watercolours, if the paper starts getting a bit fobbly, just like it is there on mine, move away to a different section of paper because you don't want it to trip. And you can always add maybe some fire flame flames. Okay, now my paper's getting thin, so I'm going to leave that to dry at the side. And then I don't need the paints anymore because that is those I'm going to use paints for. Okay, now whilst your background is drying, if you have chosen to paint. We now need to create the silhouette. Now, if you remember from our Shackleton piece of art, we created the silhouette of the ship, okay? And do you remember, we didn't need to draw all the details of the ship because a silhouette means it's just the outline of the shapes. And we're going to do the same today. We are going to do silhouettes of the buildings down Pudding Lane, and we could even do silhouette of the cathedral as well, because that would be very nice. So you can then start on the black paper, you can start drawing your buildings. You're happy? You are then going to cut them out. Okay. If you want to, you can always add windows as well because that will be very nice for the next step that I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay, so I've cut out some of my buildings. Now I'm going to add a window to a couple of them, so I'm just going to do that now. Now to cut out the windows, I've drawn, I don't know if you can see with the pencil, if I shine it, I've drawn some windows. Now because they're in the middle of the shape, it's going to be tricky to cut out, so I suggest maybe folding it in half, maybe not pushing it down so it's creased, but just folding it gently in half and then cutting the window out along the very fiddly, you might want to get a grown up to help you with this part. And I'm going to do that for all of the rest of the windows now. Okay, so I haven't done windows on all my buildings. I've done it on my cathedral and I have also done it on one of my other buildings as well. So we've got the background, 
we've got the buildings. There is one thing that we are missing. Does anybody think they can guess what we are missing for the great fire of London? Well done, we need the fire. So I'm going to put my buildings to the side. So we don't need those just yet. And my background is still a bit wet. Now for the fire, you can use paints again if you want to, or if again, you don't have any paints, you can use colouring pencils. I'm going to use colouring pencils just to show you that both can be used. Um, and I'm going to just draw some flame shapes on another piece of white paper. Um, I'm going to do some quite big. I'm going to do some big ones that can go around the buildings. And I'm also going to do some little ones, which I'm going to put, I'm going to turn it upside down so I can do some little ones on this side. Some little ones that are going to come out of the windows that I've just cut on my buildings. So they can poke out the windows. Okay, so I've done some flames there. Again, you might draw some and then realize you need some more. Maybe a couple more. Um, you can do as many or as little as you want. Because it is a big fire, I'm going to do lots. And again, I'm going to start with the yellow and just use the fire coloring pencils to put in all my things. Okay, so when you're happy with your flames that they all coloured in, I've done that very, very quickly. I'm sure you'll take a lot more time when you come to do yours. You then need to cut them out very carefully, following the lines so you get the flame shape. I'm going to cut all my flames out and then I'll... Now, just a little when you're cutting out if you keep the scissors in place it is a lot easier and to move around the shape you move the paper around so you see my scissors staying facing you see that I'm moving the paper to follow the lines Okay, and then that just stops you from finding it really tricky around. Okay, so that's just a little bit of struggling to cut out. So I have cut out all my shapes. Um, so if I just my buildings, I can, before I stick it onto the background, I can take my flames and stick it, you see, in, oops, stick it in the window and it looks like a flame is coming out of that building. So I'm going to use my glue stick now and just stick the small flames to the windows where I want them to kind of come out of. I'll just show you the buildings with the flames. It looks like the flames are coming out of the building. So now we are ready to stick it all together. So it is still a little bit wet. It should be okay if I don't do too much. And I'm now going to stick my buildings onto, oh and my big flames as well. You might want to put the big flames first. They're coming around back you might want to stick then a building and then it's up to you where you put your flames and the buildings however you think looks best for your picture so i'm going to just make a big one first so your flames can be in front of the building they can be behind i might do a bit of both Um, 
And because my background is a little bit wet, I'm putting the glue on my buildings. Final step is just you putting them where you like. There's no specific way of doing it. But just remember that the buildings were very, very close together. And to make sure all your buildings together. And that is why it spreads so quickly. Buildings. There we go. There is the silhouette of the Great Fire of London. Okay, so again, you don't need paints. If you don't have paints, you can see that I've used and pencils that works just as well okay so have a go can't wait to see your pieces of art